Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna lead you through a full body mobility routine that you can preferably do in the mornings but at any other time of course during your day. So we start with a short centering. Just connect with the ground, plant your feet, ground down, feel the connection to your breath and just be really fully here in the present moment. Okay, and from there we go a little further apart with our feet and we do some spinal twists to wake up the spine and to bring some energy into the whole system. Feel the twist and move as effortless as possible with your arms. Feel the energy in your trunk, in your center and stay connected with your breath. Okay, and now we are doing some bent arm shoulder circles. Also move your shoulder blades and feel it the other way around. Feel your ribs, your trunk, your shoulders. Okay. So now we do some flex and extending, some flexing and extending with our spine. We go down and extend. Flex, extend, flex, extend, flex. Keep breathing. And one more time. Okay, so then we do a couple of hip circles, just a few. Feel it here. And now we do some knee circles. Bring your feet together. And uh, so we are just warming up all our major joints to bring some energy flow into the whole system, other way around. Very nice. Okay, and now we go into a T or L stand. And we just move back and forth from one side to the other. We keep an upright upper body. Move basically from the hips. Feel the connection from the hips to your ankles. The whole chain and now we change other side very nice so and we're almost through with the warm-up and start with our first exercise. We're going for 50 seconds and then we have a 10 second break and then we're going to the next exercise. Okay. First exercise, we go into a squat, come up 
and pull. Come up and pull and squeeze your shoulder blades. Squat, squeeze. It's basically a rowing movement, a pulling. Feel your entire body, especially the connection from the pelvis to the back. And squeeze. Lead with your elbows. Okay, very good. We go into a supine position. And we do alternating leg lifts. Press your lower spine into your mat and move. Point your toes, pull your belly button towards your spine, keep breathing and move in your rhythm. Feel your abs, your core engaged, straight knees. Okay, next we go into a prone position and we do some scorpions on both sides. Very nice for a healthy spine. Find also your rhythm here. Rotational exercises are really very good for our body. To be able to move free and controlled. Okay, now we go into a quadruple position and we do some shoulder hydraulics. Lift your knees a little bit and just do straight arm shoulder hydraulics. Protraction, retraction, pro Re. Keep your abs engaged. Push the floor, the ground away. And stay strong. Very nice. Empower your shoulders. Great, so now we go from a down dog into an up dog. Feel the change in your spine. Extend and straighten. Move controlled and rather slow than too fast. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Okay, very good. So next standing exercise for legs. We're doing some rotational lunges to a high lunge. Okay, 
Rotation. Rotation, twist. Very nice. Align your body. Connect with your breath. Again and again. Twist. And lunge. Twist. And lunge. Feel your hip flexors on the rear leg getting stretched and strengthened. Great. So, change side. Find your stable position. Let's go. Twist and lunge. Twist. Yeah, it's important to stay focused, grounded and aligned. Okay, very good. So next we do some push-ups and we alternate from wide to narrow. You can do it, of course, also on your knees. Wide, narrow, wide, Narrow is more for triceps, wide more for chest. Great. So now we're doing some dynamic rollbacks to half kneelings. Feel your hips at this end position, both of them. Okay, very good. So now we go in a loaded beast to a forward step. Back to loaded beast. Keep your knees elevated. And pull through. Very nice. Okay. So let's get up. We go into a straddle and from a straddle in a Cossack.
Really empower your legs. Great. So now we go back on the floor and we do some reverse tabletop pull throughs. Tabletop pull through. Pull through. Feel your entire system working. Connected. Physical movements and strengths. Very good exercise for shoulder strengths, for core, deep core strengths. Okay, last exercise, side kick throughs. We go into a beast position and from there we do some controlled, nice side kicks. Point your toes to get some body tail tension. And pull through. Move from the core and the hips. Keep your knees elevated. Little bit. Not that high. And pull. Okay, great. So that's it for the workout. And now we do some cool down movements that you can, of course, also do longer if you wish. We start with some butterflies here. for the hips, just sit upright, drop your shoulders and do this up and downs on both sides and now you can pull yourself a little bit down, round your spine, keep breathing, listen to your body what is the appropriate stretch at the moment. We might open a little bit more and bring a little even deeper stretch into the hips and the spine. Keep breathing, slow down, bring your heart rate back to normal by controlled and conscious breathing. Very nice. So now we are doing a hamstring stretch. Go like this, bend knee, fold forward and just let your upper body drop a little bit. Keep breathing. Try to straighten your knee, pull a little bit on your toes and just hold it or if it feels right for you, pulse a little bit into the position. The goal is letting go, release, Tension. Okay, and we change the other side. And again, listen to your body and allow yourself to fold into the position.
the entire workout is not only for strength but also for flexibility because we move in a manner that really not only strengthens but also mobilizes our joints and the body as an entire system. But sometimes it's good after a workout to do some specific stretches and hamstrings are always good because they get shortened by sitting and so we straighten them out again. Okay, so and as a last pose or position, we go into a so-called child's pose. Bring your knees a little bit apart and make your head and your pelvis, your hips very strong. Connect your lower ribs to your thighs and feel the breath like a balloon moving against your thighs. And you can stay there a little longer if you want. It's a very relaxing position for the spine and the hips. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this nice little routine for mobility and strength. Yeah, so I wish you well. Take good care and uh, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. If you liked it, press the like button. I appreciate that and see you next time. Namaste.